General Piotr Jarosvitz, PJ, Latin small letter open O, TR char, Latin small letter open O, modifier letter vertical line, Latin small letter S with hook, Latin small letter open A, vit, combining double inverted brev, Latin small letter S with hook, listen, the 8th of October 1909, the 1st of September 1992 was a post-World War II Polish political figure. He served as the Prime Minister of Poland between 1970 and 1980. After he was forced out of office, he lived quietly in a suburb of Warsaw until his brutal 1992 murder, which was finally solved in 2018. Life and career Jarosvics was born on the 8th of October 1909 in Niswiz, in the Minsk Governorate of the Russian Empire, present-day Belarus. After finishing the secondary school in Jaslo, he started working as a teacher and headmaster in Garwolin. After the outbreak of World War II and the Nazi-Soviet alliance established by the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, he moved to Soviet-occupied zone of Poland. It has been claimed that he was a headmaster in Pinsk Gymnasia. However, on the 10th of July 1940 he was deported to Slabodka, Grasnoborsky region, Arkhangelsk. From stolen together with his first wife Okazana Gregorevna, born in Salovkalo 1914 and daughter Alila, born 1940. In 1943 he joined the first Polish army of General Zygmunt Berling. The following year he joined the Polish Workers' Party and was promoted to deputy political commander of the first army. After the war he became the deputy minister of defense, 1945-1950. Since 1956 he was the Polish ambassador to Comcon. At the same time between 1952 and 1970 he served as a deputy prime minister of Poland and briefly, 1954-1956 as the minister of mining industry. Juris Zuigs was a member of the Central Committee of the Polish United Workers' Party since its creation in 1948 and since 1964 he was also a member of the Political Bureau. From December 1970 until February 1980 he was the Prime Minister of Poland. The economical policies of Jarosvitz and Edward Girak led to a wave of protests in 1976 and 1980. In 1980 he gave up all his party posts and was expelled from the party the following year. Death after his departure from office and the party, Jarosvitz and second wife Elika Solska settled in the Warsaw suburb of Enin. The couple largely kept to themselves and did not socialize much. Jarosvitz was obsessed with security. He had a 3.3 meter, 11 foot fence topped with barbed wire installed around their villa. When he walked their Rottweiler, neighbors said, he often carried a pistol with him. Despite these measures, their son Jen Jarosvitz found the couple murdered when he entered the house on the 3rd of September 1992. Poison gas had been used to incapacitate the dog. Jarosvitz's body, found in his upstairs study, had the belt that had been used to strangle him intact secured by an antique ice axe from his collection. The attackers had also beaten him, yet bandaged those wounds as well. Solskaya's body was right next to her husband's. Her hands had been tied behind her back, and she had been shot in the head at close range with one of the couple's hunting rifles. Investigators believe that she had earlier managed to injure one of the killers during a struggle with him or her, since blood from her and an unknown individual were found in another room in the house. The killers appeared to have searched every room in the house. However, they only took what were presumed to have been documents from one safe. Valuable old coins and art were left behind, suggesting that thieves despite what seemed to have been extensive preparation, were not motivated by financial gain. Friends and family said that Jarosvitz had been acting even more paranoid than usual in the days before the murders, which were determined to have occurred on the 1st of September, two days before the bodies were discovered. The killings received wide media attention in Poland, due both to Jarosvitz's past leadership and the brutality of the crime, which had not been seen since World War II. In the absence of solid leads, theories circulated that the killers had been looking for information with which to blackmail solidarity leaders, or victims of the communist regime looking for revenge and or evidence of past crimes.
The three killers of Jarozvitz and his wife were caught in March 2018. They were members of a gang which committed several robberies in villas within the area. See also List of Prime Ministers of Poland List of Unsolved Murders References External links media related to Piotr Jarozwicz at Wikimedia Commons Piotr Jarozwicz at Find a Grave